thousand dollars. All right, part four of we rewatch season one, episode three, Acapella. That way and that. Kick out. Hold on. Okay. Kick out. Bye bye. Right. Where's everybody? Sandy, what's going on, Ray from Woodshop? Oh, there's Howard. Hello. I don't think I can be in the band anymore. What? I'm doing inventory. <laughs> it was never my dream. <laughs> Howard's out. That, that's just great. What's, hey, Emma, you didn't uh, see me dancing earlier, did you? Oh, is that what that was? Look, I have some bad news. You break up with me. No, look, please stop talking. Um, um, no, look, I think the Rockefeller's pressure has proven to be a little bit too much for Henry. Really? What? Well, he just done six bottles of cross syrup, which is a lot even for him. Um, he's okay, Sandy's in the emergency room with him now, but Figgins is insisting before he comes back and can be around the kids again that he goes to rehab. So that's where he's going tomorrow morning. This is great. Sandy went after both of them. So I found this officially now. You know, uh, when I get stressed, I, I work out, you can probably tell, so I'm gonna, uh, down some power bars, knock off a few reps, come up with some solutions here. Right. It was fun while it lasts. I don't think you should give up so easy, Will. You know, they said Van Halen was dead after David Lee Roth quit. But my one out single right now says that they were wrong. Hmm. Supportive, Emma. In cute ways. You got a sec, Mr. Shoot? Yeah, of course. What's so. up? I just wanted to tell you that I'm quitting Glee, too. I didn't quit Glee. Well, you might as well have. It's not even there. I try and talk sense into Rachel, but she's gone all chick batty. Chick batty, Finn, Finn! I will hit you with this keyboard. No, I won't, because you're thick headed and I'll break my keyboard. Please bring down my rack, man. Have the guts to stick with it a little bit longer. You are a gifted performer. No, fan. he's not. I'm down. sorry. He's if not do, that good. He's okay. I'm Trust okay. Me. He's okay. I know. Not that you're good enough for Glee Club. This is not fun anymore. Or he's not good enough for Lee. I'm tired. Hey, Finn, wait. There's something I want to talk to you about. Hey, Coach, what do you want, Buckerman? I heard there's a vacancy in your acapella group. Uh, for my huh. services. I play guitar, and actually, I'm a really good singer. There are a lot of moms who do things, right? Well, here's the thing you should know about me. Uh, but I'm not like everybody else in this crappy cow town. I've got star potential. And more specifically, I'm tired of wasting my time with high school girls. So is he 16 or something? breaking up. Why? Your credit score is terrible. What I need as a woman is financial security. See, young girls will shoot you down and make you feel terrible about yourself. But a cougar never disappoints. Is that a nipple me? Yeah. I'm kind of rock and roll. I need your help in clogging my bathtub drain. The proof was in a sexual proof. My above ground pool cleaning business went through the roof once I embraced my gift for music and gave these fine ladies the romance they were missing. I also stopped beating people up so much. Wouldn't miss our rehearsals. I listen to me, you little psychopath. My love life is hanging by a thread, and that thread is acapella. It drives my girlfriend nuts in the pants. So if you screw this up for me, I swear to you, I will stick my fist so far down your throat you will taste my armpit hairs. Do I make myself clear? Good. We rehearse Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8. Don't be late. Oh, you rhymed there. Beast is much better coach and less frightening in a creepy way. <laughs> Puck. Dude, my bowels have better moves than you. That sucks. But you guys got the steps, Dan. Just... 
okay? Um, you guys play baseball, right? What did your coach tell you about hitting? Baseball. Charge the pitcher, bring the bat. Okay, um, I'm sure he also tells you to relax, right? Because hitting No mention of hits, baseball again. Right? You gotta loosen them up. Just swing that bat, all right? Pretend Rockefellers, Madison Square Garden. Here we are, all the beautiful ladies out there. Let's see, Puck's getting it. That big old bat. Bins is going, wee! Puck's going. Let's try from the top, okay? Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. See, Puck stopped beating people up as much as when he was on singing and dancing because he was having fun. Yeah, give us hit the throw. Oh, God, this is so good. That's it. That's it. All right. <laughs> that baseball thing sure was good, Mr. Shapiro. Totally. We need to have a gay mention. That's a gay intervention. Okay. Kurt, he's lady fabulous. Okay, so Tina and Rachel seem to be hanging out. So Tina and Rachel were friends in season one? Friendly? You know what I want to know? I want. I would love a fic, fanfic, where Tina and Rachel like lived near each other and grew up together, and you know Tina was always just kind of in awe of Rachel's confidence because Tina didn't have that confidence in herself, while hating Rachel in a certain kind of way because you always hate the people that you envy. Um, and I think that would be interesting. I think Kurt and Rachel probably saw each other in certain classes and they would always be like, hmm, you. And Kurt would always be like, I'm better than all of you because I'm a boy and I can do this and ha 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 ha. And Rachel would be like, I'm better than everyone because I'm Rachel Berry and I'm a star and I'm going to be on Broadway and I'm amazing. And then Tina would just be in the back going, you're, you're, you're so good. Already, unfortunately, had to take a year off after the accident. And Mercedes was just singing with her choir. That got really depressing, but then, like, the already in the accident thing. Hmm. Because, think, well, here's the thing. I think Rachel and Kurt had to have been in some of the same lessons, singing or dance related, because there can't be that many teachers in Lima, unless they went to Columbus for that. And unless. Bert or his wife are willing to do that, which they could have been, but it's not for sure. I can see Bert's dad's being willing to take her, like, all the way around Ohio and possibly into other states to get training. I'm not so sure. Bert and his wife would have done that unless they could have afforded it. But, well, let's continue. It's obvious you like him. We just don't want you to get hurt by feelings he can't reciprocate. Look, just because he wears nice clothes doesn't mean he's on the down low. He wore a corset to second period today. You can do better, Mercedes. Really? Well, what if I can? You know, there's not a lot of guys around here knocking down my door for a date. Or yours, for that matter. Nobody notices us. Hello, we're in Glee Club. And I'm tired of being lonely, aren't you? Mercedes thing where she was lonely and she takes what guys she can get because she's not going to get any better. He understands what I'm going through. Now maybe that's not enough for you guys, but it's enough for me. And then they both ended up with people from Glee. Dear gentle Jesus, seriously? I'm going to say, I really misjudged you. Getting the Cheerios to help out with the Glee Club choreographer fundraiser is one of the nicest things I've ever seen. Well, Irma, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make this Glee Club successful. Ah! Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, I love the car wash too, though, you know. When I was little, I got a lazy man dad would let me wash his car, so I'd get him a little toothbrush out, and I'd clean it up making long. You know, the way he gives your mental illness to help these kids is really inspiring. I'm shocked you're not married. Thank <laughs> you.
Your rings are clean. We polished them like three times already. Did you bring a change of clothes because we're going straight to sing along sound of music? Ah! 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 Sing along sound of music! Big sing along sound of music! Yes! Yes! See! See! Sing along sound of music! In season one, episode three, he's going to the sing along sound of music. And where is he going next year? The sing along sound of music! Which was, I think, also episode three. And that's what Bird has in the right time. Yeah! So is it a Friday night dinner that he's missing? At this point, their relationship was still a bit awkward in that whole, let's not speaking about certain things. So maybe they were able to rearrange Friday night dinners at this point. But still, sing along set of music. Yes. I'm getting overly excited about that. So I'm going to pause the video at this time. But yay, continuity. If only they had gone to sing along set of music in season three, Curtain Blaine. They did. In season four, Blaine went by himself. I actually broke with him, with him, but okay. Sing along sound of music! Yes! No, wrong button. See you guys at part five? I have no idea what part I'm on anymore, Amber. I'm tired and blargity.